picture's worth a thousand words, a video's worth a thousand pictures, so rather than give you a million words, we're going to just give you this video on how to put together your sea skimmer. Let's start at the stern with the rudder. Here's a fully assembled rudder and tiller assembly. You see the L-pin and the cotter pin that holds the L-pin in. You see the carriage bolt and how that seats in the socket there. And you see the tiller and how that attaches to the top of the black plastic piece. The eye bolts are pre-installed on the tiller. And that's your whole assembly. The rudder and tiller are now attached to the boat. We just lined up the ears on the black plastic piece that's part of the rudder above and below the holes of this piece which is called the gudgeon plate which is attached to the boat and we drop the pin down through. Once we got it through we put the cotter pin on down at the bottom. If you ever lose this L pin uh, you can buy another one from us or you could just go to the hardware store and get a long quarter inch bolt and a wing nut Put the wing nut on the bottom in place of the cotter pin and you've got yourself a rudder pin from the hardware store. Here's your dagger board. If it ever gets all scratched up I recommend a can of uh, spray polyurethane, spar varnish and just refinish it by spraying with that exterior grade marine spar varnish that you can get at the hardware store. Goes right in this slot and this uh, these, this part here fits in that well there. If you want it to be a tighter fit wrap this with electrical tape or duct tape. Nice thing about tape is you can build up any thickness that you need in order to make more of a friction fit in this well. Sail rigging. Let's get the big picture here of how the sea skimmer's sails are rigged and then we'll get into the details. The main sail, which is this big one with the yellow, red, and blue, uh, is rigged with uh, sleeves that are sewn into the vertical front edge, which is called the luff, and another sleeve that's sewn into the bottom horizontal edge. The mast goes into this sleeve there, and the boom goes into this horizontal sleeve here. And there are no, um, there's no halyard, there's no ropes that allow you to raise and lower the mainsail. The mainsail is always up. The jib, on the other hand, the little red sail here, does have a long rope, which is called a halyard, that's tied at the base of the mast on that cleat at the base of the mast, and it runs up to the top of the mast and slides through an eye bolt at the top of the mast, and then is tied off to the top of the jib. So you can raise and lower the jib with the mast up. The bottom front corner of the jib is tied off permanently to uh, that eye on the bow. I'll release the jib halyard and you'll see how it controls raising and lowering of the jib. Okay, so I pull on that jib halyard and up goes the jib. And you need the jib to be nice and tight. You don't want that front edge of the jib, the luff of the jib, uh, going slack on you when you're sailing. 
So you should actually tension the mast forward a little bit by uh, tightening up the jib halyard. And don't, don't go crazy and rip, rip the sail, but put a little bit of tension on it as you are tying off the jib to this cleat. While we're here in the vicinity of this cleat, let's look at another little detail. You should make about a 20 inch line and tie from the base of the cleat to this eye on the deck. That way if the boat should tip over you won't lose the mass to the bottom of the lake. This line is your safety line on the mast to keep it from falling out in the event the boat capsizes. Now what the instructions tell you to do is uh, take the end of the jib halyard and tie it off to that eye and that works too but I think it's better to just have a, a short piece of rope that you've dedicated to that purpose and let the jib halyard only be a jib halyard. That way if you decide to lower your jib at some point while you're sailing you won't have to untie the jib halyard from this eye and you won't be putting your mast at risk. And suppose you've lowered the jib and you didn't retie this line and then you capsize you might lose your mast. So I just leave this short length of line on my mast all the time and after I've got the mast in the boat and I'm ready to go sailing. I put it through the eye and tie it off. Let's look at some details about mounting the mainsail on its uh, boom and mast. Uh, out here at the end of the boom, just take that uh, lightweight line that comes tied into the grommet at the uh, lower back edge of the sail, which we call the clue. Take that line and tie it out into this anchor point that's already pre-installed on the boom. Going down here to the lower front corner of the sail, which would be called the tack. I, I like to tie this corner string into the yoke. The yoke is this piece here that fits in the end of the boom. And mostly, I think what that line is doing is uh, if something should happen, it would be um, it would be a safety line on the yoke so you didn't lose that. The yoke is this funny piece of metal that sticks inside the boom. I've just taken the boom off it. And it's not really attached to the boom. It just slides inside it and the sail holds it all together. You often need to adjust the yoke a little bit when you first get it. It can be bent just uh, with your hands and if yours is too tight on the mast just put it between you know put one hand here and another hand there and pull and uh, spread it a little bit so that it fits more easily around the boom. And then there's this piece of clear tubing and that goes over the two prongs of the yoke and helps keep the yoke from getting lost and it also cushions that uh, uh, intersection where the yoke is bearing on the mast keeps it quiet and keeps it from marking up the mast.
Now let's go up to the top. Up here at the top, we've got this eye, which is going to be facing forward. And the mainsail is going to be behind the mast. So this is the orientation when it's up in the air. You've got the eye facing forward and the body of the mainsail is behind the mast. And so you just take this corner string that's at the top of the mainsail and tie it in a circle going through the eye and back to that top grommet in the mainsail. Then your jib halyard is sliding through that eye I'm going to show you now how we put up the main cell. Or take it down, I guess that's what I'm showing you, is how we take it down. <laughs> it's light as a feather, it's very easy to handle. So, when I've got it stored, I just put the boom up alongside the mast like you just saw me do. I roll the sail up like that, and that's the way I carry it to and from the lake. I got a rack up in the ceiling of my basement. I just slide it into that rack like that. My vehicle is a van. It's not quite long enough to put this inside, so I, I have this part sticking out the front window on the passenger side, just about a foot, you know, angling it back to the back of the van. I put a rope or a strap around this. Anyway, let me put it up. Here's how you rig the main sheet. The main sheet is the rope that controls the angle of the sail, the main sail. You tie it on here at the eye strap at the base of the tiller. Okay, it starts there and it's just a dead end anchoring of it there. Then you go out here, and you thread the loose end of the sheet through the pulley at the end of the boom. Then you come back to the rudder and tiller, and you go through the first eye. This is the eye closest to the rudder blade, and then the second eye and now you're done. When you're sailing, the idea of this is when you're sailing, this will keep the sheet right there at the end of your tiller, right where your hand already is, and that way you can hold the sheet and the tiller with the same hand. If you want to take a little bit of a chance, you can put a knot in the end of this, so that it can't slip back through the eye. The advantage of this is you won't lose your sheet while you're out on the water. The disadvantage is that if you get all messed up and a gust of wind comes along and what you really want to do is release the mainsail totally, uh, you won't be able to do that because the sheet will only be able to let out the sail that much. But that's what I do. I just take a chance. All right, well, I put the mast up and I forgot to put the jib halyard in, but that's no problem. Here's my jib halyard.
and I just tilted the boat over and put the jib halyard through the eye at the top of the mast. Now I'm letting it come back level. And up goes the jib. And then I tie it off to the cleat. Now we're looking at the very bottom front corner of the jib and this short length of rope I have anchored to the jib by running it through the grommet and tying a knot, single knot on both sides of the grommet. And then we'll tie that off the other end of the rope to the bow eye on the hull. How do you know which is the front corner and which is the aft corner? Well the label is right here at the front corner and you've got this extra seam tape running up the front corner to reinforce it because that's the that's the edge that takes all the tension from the jib halyard. Now we're looking at the aft lower corner of the jib and I'm showing you how the jib sheet is attached. Run the jib sheet through this grommet in the lower aft corner of the jib and double over the jib halyard so that you've got equal lengths on each side of the grommet and then taking both lines together tie a knot so that now it won't slip through that grommet. And then forever after you just leave this rope attached to the sail here. And I would do the same with this rope, leave it attached to the sail when you store the boat. Take it loose from the bow eye. Now let's see how the jib sheets are rigged. One goes on the port side of the mast and one goes on the starboard side of the mast. And they come up and run through these jam cleats. And I recommend that you bring it through the jam cleat and then tie a single knot right at the very end so that when you're sailing you don't lose your jib sheets. They don't come unrigged from the jam cleat. And the way that's going to work is if we're sailing with the jib on this side, the starboard side of the boat, because the wind is coming from the port side, we'll adjust how far we want to pull that sheet and then we'll push it down into the teeth of the jam cleat and then the jib will be firmly anchored there. So you cannot pull it that way but you can easily pull it this way. And when you come about and you need the jib to go over to the other side, you just jerk up on that line, lay it over to the side so that the jib will be able to pull the line through and it won't catch in the teeth. And then you'll pull the jib sheet on the other side to bring the jib over to the port side. And the whole time you're sailing you'll leave those knots tied and you'll just do your adjustment with the jam cleat. See how that works? If you're sailing solo, at least when I'm sailing solo, I tend to push that line down with my toe once I've got the jib sheet pulled to where I want it. 